I was wrong. This is not as loud as I thought it was. Well, it still is, but we have some good evidence now that my unit is way louder than it should be. In this video I will tell you why there are high chances that the retail G1 units will be way more silent than my unit is and which vibe views I recommend. Me and another person on the GPD Discord have a G1 preview unit. The other person is brother Janvik who made this nice overlay I'm using for my FPS and performance metric. So he's a very reliable source of information. Once the new BIOS released, he reported that his unit became way more silent with the new 80W BIOS compared to the 100W BIOS. My unit on the other hand was pretty much the same. Also he did the same smartphone test I did. Both our phones showed about 40 decibel ambient noise. When running the G1 my phone showed about 70 decibel. His one was at about 56. Taking those reports into account both the lower decibel values plus the perceived reduced noise level when running the 80W BIOS I must conclude that the other G1 unit is way more silent than mine. Also my unit is pretty much as noisy when using the 80W BIOS as when using the 120W BIOS. I further must conclude that something is wrong with this unit. The BIOS are different as hardware info reports different values and it takes longer to reach the full fan speed when running the 80W BIOS compared to the 100W BIOS. Still the 80W BIOS in the end will be as loud as the 100W BIOS. In the second part we will take a brief look at the performance difference. As I need to flash the BIOS with Oculink and reboot after each flash I only did one test running the Heaven benchmark with different configs. My tests were done at 1440p ultra settings. I tested Oculink and USB 4. As the results show for this one test on my unit there is not much of a difference between 80W and 120W and even less difference between 80W and 100W. Comparing 80W and 100W gives me about 10% more performance for a 50% increase in power consumption. If we add the Winmax 2 7840U at 24W into the mix we can see that the G1 gives roughly 4 times the FPS for that particular test. If we compare USB 4 versus Oculink there is no difference, at least not for that unit running this particular test. Again here we must compare the results with those of brother Janvik who also has a G1 and did quite a lot of testing. He had the G1 paired with a Win Mini. His results show a significant difference between Oculink and USB 4 in favor of Oculink. If I remember correctly on some occasion that's a difference of even up to 30% and I'm speaking about an external display here. The results of those tests leave some questions open to me. Why do his tests show such a huge difference whereas for me and for the folks there was only a marginal difference between USB 4 and Oculink. Is it the benchmark which makes a difference? Is something wrong with the Oculink implementation of my G1? Is something wrong with the USB 4 implementation on Genvix Win Mini preview unit? We cannot answer those questions right now. All we can do is to wait for more people to get their hands on a G1 and to conduct more tests. What's my verdict after all of this? If my unit is way louder than the retail units will be, and we have good evidence for that, then my recommendation status for the G1 goes from stay away and wait to a recommended with some subjective drawbacks. 
The performance, compatibility, ease of use and size are superb. I stated that in my last video and I cannot state this enough. I still do not like the port placement and I hate that mandatory power button. It limits the options you have for hiding the dock as it always must be in reach and it cannot be controlled via a power plug with a switch. If the G1 truly stays below 60 dB, I do not consider the noise to be a huge issue anymore. That removes the biggest drawback that my unit has and moves the G1 to a recommended status. If the ports and the power buttons are not an issue for you, or you even like those features, then the G1 is probably one of the best eGPU solutions out there. Regarding those other ports, I cannot see how I want to use the G1 as my daily driver dock for anything else than gaming. Even when being just in the desktop mode, I can imagine that the G1 draws much more power than the WinMax 2 and a dock for example would do. The ports are great if you have some controllers with a 2.5 GHz dongle or have some ROM collection on an SD card. For those situations the ports are beneficial and nice to have. If we look at Oculink, don't worry if you have a device which does not have Oculink. When using an external display, you will still get a nice boost in GPU performance. For more information on that topic, we need to wait for further tests. How will I proceed with my unit? This unit is basically a reseller unit ordered via Dragonbox. We got this unit mainly to display it at the Gamescom and there the noise level was not an issue at all. As for me, I cannot see how I would ever want to use this. It is way too loud for me to be considered viable. Also, the stupid port placement just clutters my desktop. As such, I will send this back to Dragonbox so Evil Dragon can do a few tests with the unit if he wants to. After that, we need to discuss on whether we will send this back to GPD for repair or if we just ask for a new heatsink and a new fan. Maybe that alone might fix the noise issue already. So that's it for today. I hope this video paints a more modest picture of the G1 than my last video does. And that in the near future we will see more reports and tests regarding the G1 by other people. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.